Hi guys! I know, I know, before you guys get at me, I know it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, please forgive me, a lot has been going on, a lot has changed. Um, give you guys a brief update. Deployment is over for us. Um, my husband came home a week and a half ago. Um, if you guys want to see pictures, uh, follow me on Instagram. It, my username is the same as uh, my username here, T-R-U-S-T-A-R-R-S-6. Um, I have pictures there that I posted when he came home, so you just have to find them. Um, or I might do a slideshow if I can figure out how to do it. Um, but homecoming was amazing. Um, my husband came home at a night, a night flight. Um, so it kind of worked out where my son was asleep, um, when the plane landed. Um, and then they had to do, like, accountability stuff. And then he was awake by the time his daddy came out. So it was kind of cool. Um, my son looked at him like, who are you? Why are you holding me? But now, like, he follows him around the house, and he calls him Dada, but he calls everybody Dada. I don't know. Um, but I think he knows you're not going anywhere, so I think you're mine. <laughs> and so it's kind of cool. Um, we're in our new place in El Paso, so I'm no longer in California. Um, I moved here about a month before month and a half before he came home um, because I wasn't sure when he was coming home so I wanted to make sure that I decorated got everything because we're pretty much started from scratch on um, this time because we, we didn't really have much furniture in our old place because um, we knew he was deploying and I didn't want to put all our stuff in storage um, so I just bought everything baby stuff baby room stuff our room stuff living room couches all kind of stuff so um, the whole house was like 98% done by the time he got home. So, um, he kind of said like, why don't you wait for me till I get home? And I was like, you're not going to want to do that stuff when you get home. I was right. Um, so what else, what else, what else? I'm just really happy that deployment is over. Um, it's kind of shocking that we went that long without being together and you can kind of tell because now we're getting to know each other all over again each other's quirks each other's issues all this stuff um so i will say after deployment patience is key from both sides i should take my own words of advice i'm not very patient but i try um i'm trying my hardest um so we just kind of like have talks and <laughs> trying to regroup here as a family unit and I could tell little by little it's getting better and easier and it's awesome to have my partner back because he can help me with our son um, he can just be here like when I don't want to deal with anybody else's bullshit excuse my French my husband's here you know and I don't even have to say anything like I'm stressed I'm pissed nothing just him being with me and my son, I'm good. Um, so that's that's awesome. Um, I'm sleeping in more because my husband's on baby duty. If he doesn't work the next morning, um, then we kind of switch. So weekdays, I have Taj at night. Um, he'll wake up like um, his first feeding sometimes, like around one o'clock in the morning. Um, but after that, it's all me. Um, which hey, that extra missing of the sleep uh missing of the feeding is more sleep for me so hey one you take one i'm good and then the weekends it's all daddy <laughs> so um yeah so that's awesome uh what else oh about my weight loss journey currently uh i've lost about 38 39 pounds um i'm still going my first goal was 30 pounds but then when i got to 30 i was like all right well let me see where this goes so right now i want to lose about 10 to 12 percent more body fat um just leaning out basically um because my legs i can see more muscle my arms i can see more muscle um my abs are starting to show so i just want to lean out so you can see all my hard work more um but if you guys need help losing weight email me. I'll leave my email at the bottom here. Um, just email me. I I work from home as a coach um, and so I help people set them up with a nutrition plan. I set them up with all kinds of exercises that they want me to, foods, whatever. And I have about 30 clients and about 90 
5% of them are losing a good amount of weight. The other 5% it's either health. Um, I had one girl who had a thyroid problem, um, so she's not losing weight as fast um, as other people. But hey, that's all body chemistry. But she's still going. Um, but everyone else who's just 100% healthy and who's giving the program their all, um, you know, programs their all, they have lost a good amount of weight. I have a client lost 10 pounds, 15, 20, 30, 35. Um, and so it feels amazing to be a part of their journey and just get text messages about how good they feel in their clothes finally. How awesome it felt to finally fit in a size 10, 12 jean that they haven't fit since high school, like me. I'm in a size 11 jean and I haven't been in a size 11 since sophomore year of college, right before I met my husband. Um, so I'm smaller now than when we first met. So for him, he's like, you could stop. But for me, I want to be more fit framed. Um, I don't want to be ripped or anything like that, but fit would be awesome. So that's what my goal is. Um, and I'm also helping my husband who wants to put about 15 pounds of lean muscle. So I'm helping him as well. So I can help a male as well. I have about four male clients. Um, a lot of men don't want to trust a female coach, so they'll go to a male coach, which is totally fine. But my men on my team are doing the damn thing, okay? So if you're a man out there, like, I don't know if Tiffany can coach me, she's a girl. You're missing out because all my men are doing a freaking amazing, um, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, so like I said, if you need help with anything as far as health, weight loss, weight gain, or just overall health, just email me. No pressure. Let's have a conversation. Just let me know that you saw me on YouTube and uh, we'll start a conversation from there. Um, what else? Block leave is in two weeks. Yay! We're going home to California. We're just going to chill with the family, have fun. California has a lot of festivals that we don't have out here. So we're going to do a lot of outside activities. Um, we're going to have Taj's first birthday party like three weeks early because, you know, we won't be home for his birthday. Um, but... I can't believe he's already won. And I would show you guys him, but he's sleeping, so that's why I'm trying to hurry up and do this video. Um, but I'll try to do a video here soon that you guys can see him. He's walking. He started walking about when, right before he hit eight months. Um, a lot of people say, oh my god, that's so early for him to be walking, but my son has been doing everything before he's supposed to be doing it. Um, because he's really independent. I think he gets that from me. But I remember he's three months old, he'd get mad because he couldn't sit up, like, from his back and he'd start crying because he was trying and I'm like baby it's okay you don't know how to do that yet so now he's starting to walk he's running actually now um so it's really cute to see him because he still walks and runs with his belly out and his butt back um people make fun of him and say that he runs like me because that my butt is big so i'm like but whatever um He's not walking or running in shoes. He refuses. So we're trying to train him to walk in them. But he's winning the war on that because he won't. Um, he's done it a couple times if we entice him with the toy on the floor. But that's about it. Um, what else? What else? What else? He says mama, dada, tita. Um, he repeats most of those kind of words from from us but I don't know if he knows what he's saying I mean I know he knows mama and dada but when my, my sister says hey tita he says tita my sister's like oh my god he called me but I don't know if he correlates it with her just yet I think if we keep doing it he will um funny enough my mom will say say grandma and he goes mama mama like that so he's trying um he's not sleeping through the night yet unfortunately like I said um, that's pretty much all the updates on him, but I'll try to get videos of him so you guys can see him. Um, my husband and I are going to be doing some stuff today. Um, we want to do like day in the life of family videos, so hopefully we'll remember to do that. We wake up in the morning, we eat, and we do all kind of stuff, and then we're like, wait, we forgot to record. And I leave my camera on my nightstand to remember, and I always forget. So I'm going to try to remember one of these days so we can record a day in the life. Um, he's really excited about doing that. I watch It's Judy Time, and he's like, why don't we do that? And I was like, because we keep forgetting. <laughs> so, um, but he's he's into it. He doesn't watch full episodes with me, but he'll look for like five minutes. Like, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's funny. Just stuff like that. So that's why he wants to do it. Um, but yeah, so... If you guys want to know how to do this look, 
go to Samantha Shuckerman's um, YouTube page. I'll try to remember to put a link at the bottom. Um, she just did this tutorial today using the Urban Decay Book of Shadows. I think the latest one. Oh, actually, or I think it's an old one, actually. Um, but, yeah, if you guys want to do it, it's pretty cool. doesn't look as frosty as it did on her because I think because I'm darker, but... Hey, I did my makeup today, which is for all you mommies know, it's almost impossible. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side and I can't wait to start doing more videos. Bye guys.